दिस वीडियो इज क्रिएटेड बाय जागृत क्रिएशन इट इज ऑन अकाउंटिंग फॉर ब्रांचेस डिपेंडेंट ब्रांच डेटर सिस्टम आई विश टू सॉल्व वन सम हियर बिफोर यू वेरी ब्रांच अकाउंट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू बी प्रिपेयर्ड अंडर डेटर सिस्टम एंड प्रॉफिट इज बीइंग फाउंड आउट ऑब्जर्व द सम ऑन द स्क्रीन this is the sum which i intend to solve shri jignesh of pardi has a branch at udwada shri jignesh send all goods to udwada branch at an invoice price which is 25% above cost price prepare udwada branch and debtors account on the basis of following information this is the information given to you from that you are required to prepare branch account and debtor account opening stock at cost price of branch 75000 now goods are sent at an invoice price which is cost plus 25% so if 100 is the cost then 25 is the profit or load 125 is the invoice price now 125 is the invoice price is from the view point of head office but that invoice price is identified as cost from the view point of the branch so when branch cost to branch just a cost price of branch implies that it is an invoice price cost price to head office means it is a cost price goods sent to branch cost price of head office so it is a cost price not the invoice price goods returned by branch cost price of branch cost price of branch means invoice price so here this is the invoice price this is the these two are the invoice price and these two are the cost price what is the relationship between invoice price and cost price cost price plus 25% is equal to invoice price this is an important understanding that student is required to hold while solving this sum opening balance of debtors creditors goods sent to branch realized from bad debts return of last year so it's an income amount received from customers expenses paid by head office of the branch including wages 4000 discount paid means discount allowed bad debts return of salary to be paid to branch manager on 31st of december 2016 this is a liability at the end of the accounting period total sales goods return by branch cost price of branch means invoice price on the basis of this information i am required to prepare branch account and debtors account purpose of preparing branch account is to find out the profit let us start jigne send all goods to udwara branch at an invoice price which is 25% above the cost price let me prepare a working note if cost is 100 profit is 25 invoice price is 125 this is the relationship between cost and invoice price now in this sum i am given opening stock at cost price to branch so 75000 is the invoice price because cost to branch is the invoice price cost 100 25 is the profit 125 is the invoice price so branch receives at a price of 125 so it is a cost for branch so this 75000 i will record under 125 now opening stock look at goods sent to branch 240000 cost price of head is head office so i will write in cost column that's an important point goods returned by the branch cost price of branch so i will write 5000 in the invoice price column goods re goods return is done closing stock at cost price of head office i will write in cost price now i will find out the profit and invoice price that is missing that is the first thing that i will do so how to find out if 125 is the invoice price then 25 is the profit how much for 75000 If you work it out, it will be fifteen thousand. So fifteen thousand is the profit. Seventy-five thousand minus fifteen thousand, you will get the cost element, 
or the alternative way to find out the cost 125 to 100 cost how much for 75000 if you work it out in that fashion that will comes to 60000 this is how two missing items are being found out now next if cost is 100 25 is the profit how much for 240000 so one fourth of 240000 that works out to be 60,000. 60,000 is the profit element. 240,000 plus 60,000. Invoice price should be 3 lakhs. Or you can find out if 100 is the cost, then 125 is the invoice price. How much for 240,000? You'll get the same answer 3 lakhs. Now I want to find out the missing information for goods return. Once again, here I will start with 125 to 25. How much for 5,000? Because this 5,000 is the invoice price. So I should start with invoice price. So it is 1,000. 5,000 minus 1,000 is equal to 4,000. You can find the same thing by a different ratio. 125 to 100 cost. How much for 5,000? 4,000. This is the alternative, alternative way to present it. Now here for 28,000 I want to find out. So I will start with cost. If cost is 100 then profit is 25. How much for 28,000? It should be 7,000. Now 28 plus 7, 35,000 is the invoice price. Or you can find out if 100 is the cost and 125 is the invoice price. How much for 28,000? That is 35,000. So this is how I have prepared this working note. The important point of emphasis, cost to branch means invoice price. Now let me write all these things in the branch account that I have prepared. So Branch account, debit to stock account, opening balance, stock given to the branch at the beginning of the year to create the economic existence of the branch. When the invoice price is recorded, you should write the adjustment entry on the credit side. That is stock is of 15,000. So difference between the two is cost with which branch account is debited. Goods sent to branch account debit to branch account debit to goods sent to branch account credit. And adjustment entry for 60,000 is to be recorded on opposite side. So invoice price minus profit element, branch account is debited with cost of goods sent. Goods return, branch is the giver, credit the giver. So goods return to HO account, goods from branch account debit to branch account credit. 1,000 is debited to the opposite side just to disclose the goods returned by branch at cost in branch account. Closing stock I write on the credit side because all the assets of the branch are taken over by head office at the end of the year. Profit element stock reserve is recorded on the opposite side just to identify the stock at cost in my branch account. This is how these four transactions are considered. Now remaining details, let, me, let us start. Opening balance of debtors I write on the debit side of branch account opening balances and in debtors account working note. Also I write the opening balance. Closing balance of data will be recorded on the credit side of branch account and that will be recorded on data's account credit side working note. Good send is done. Realized from bad debts return of it last year this is an income. All incomes are remitted by branch to HO. So cash account debit to branch account credit bad debt recovered. Amount received from customer that is also remitted to the HO. Cash account debit to branch account credit. And amount received from customers that will be credited to debtor's account in a working note. Expenses paid by head office of branch. Total 24,000 expenses are paid. Expenses are paid for the branch. Branch is the receiver branch account debit to cash account. Including 4,000 wages you are required to buy. Forget this four wages and other expenses for the purpose of trading and profit and loss account. In this sum we are not required to prepare trading and profit and loss account. So we ignore it. Discount allowed. Debtors account to be account is to be credited. This is a transaction between branch and customers. Head office is not a party to this transaction, so it cannot be recorded in branch account. Bad debt return of same way credited to debtors account. Salary to be paid to the manager. Liability at the end of the accounting period. All the assets and liabilities of the branch are to be taken over. 
When the assets are taken, the assets account debit to branch account credit. But when the liability is taken, branch account debit to liability account credit. So branch account debit to outstanding salary account credit. Goods return is already done. Now find the credit sales. So this is the credit sale that we have found out. Now you are given total sales. From that deduct the credit sales. So you will get the cash sales. This is a cash sales, cash received by the branch at the instance of cash sale, which is remitted to HO. So HO has received these funds, cash account debit to branch account credit, till like 40,000. This is how all details are recorded in branch account. Now close branch account and find the profit. 6 like 80,000 minus all these things, you will get the profit. And that profit is transferred to profit and loss account. So branch account debit to like 17,000. So profit and loss account credit to like 70,000. This is how this sum gets solved. I have tried to explain you this sum. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to all.